That's good. Yeah, not like some of those appalling BBC local radio stations that there are. That's another story about the BBC a little later. Uh, Lewis Perry or Louise? Louis. I always Louis call Perry. her Lewis because I am dyslexic. Like Superman, Lois yeah. Lane. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Don't hit the table, Lance. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Lance Foreman, who's like king <laughs> of the smoked salmon. Um, yeah. And uh, I can tell you because I've tried it many times. <laughs> and although he, he occasionally, as a gift, sends me some smoked salmon, but yeah. it's always only got two days left on the uh, usable. <laughs> yeah, it's the bargain. <laughs> yeah. But it's yeah. still all right. But yeah. it's, you know, he's, he's very good. Still uh, employ there. But he's always better then as well. <laughs> A former MEP, were you? Former MEP for London, yeah. Yeah, you were, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Can I ask you one question? Um, because... You, yeah, you more than that, he's here for um, a while. <laughs> why don't you, because I'm, I'm too old and okay. infirm and, and... And by the way, people saying you've got a bit of a... I have, I've got this tumour pressing on one of my bits of my eye and it makes me uh, squint a lot and... So he's not winking stupid, at you, so don't get any ideas. Because Lady W the other day said to me, why were you winking at that lady on the show when, when I <laughs> did that show the other day? That, and I, I, I can't help it anyway. But well, you I were actually see. winking then. That wasn't anything to do you with You can that. wink at me. I, I'm, Are yeah. you sure you're pretty, pretty open to good. winking? Oh, good. Good, good, good. Good. Uh, we'll Thank find you. out how far you're prepared to go about that later. Um, so... What about Mayor of London? Isn't that coming up in the not-too-distant future, a year or so? Wouldn't you fancy that? Uh, yeah, I, I did actually think about it last time round. And in fact, Pretty Patel actually mm. said that she would nominate me and Boris said that he would also second me and propose me. But um, I think Pretty Patel said at the time, she said that they were looking, the Tory party as was, were, were looking for a female ethnic Remainer. And I <laughs> you sort of, didn't fit the bill. Well, uh, I, said, I said, look, you know, I, I actually have three sisters, so I know what it is to... I could identify as a female. I, I can do that. <laughs> ethnic, I'm Jewish, so that, you know, Me you can sort of get a bit of the ethnic stuff in. Remainer, not a hope. OK. So I'd lost it on that. Good. Yeah. Well, I, I, I voted Remain. But Sean but did then when well. I, hang on. You. When I got married... Yes. My wife convinced me that I and, and I was pro, I, I it admitted was me it. that did it, but he I got admitted admit, it. He got no, admit you it got was married. Me, yeah, yeah <laughs> and I uh, I've changed my mind completely, and I cannot. Yeah, yeah, I cannot understand why, with with having lots of research I've done, I looked in it, that the European so-called Union is actually a dictatorship. It is. To the countries of Europe. It is. Yeah. And although the, the ridiculous Remainers, hmm. um, I love stick, by the way. If you want to yeah. troll somebody, troll me, because I'm not going to get upset. Um, are going on about, oh, well, it's all falling apart. and it, It's not. What we have is namby-pamby politicians on both sides of the house, mainly, yes. who yeah. haven't done it properly, have they? But they like you, didn't they? Uh, well, they sort of do. Because they but, could blame it. Yeah, well, they haven't done it properly. They could blame it. But you only have to look at what's going on in Europe at the moment. And you mm. think, well, why? You know, there's riots every day in France. Well, it was corrupt. Ju there were suitcases full of hundreds of thousands. Of, there was they can't too. finish their accounts. Oh, right. no, Calm down. The, the European <laughs> economy <laughs> yes, is like the slowest... It's the only part of the planet which isn't growing. Why mm. Why do you want to tie yourselves to that? Yeah. Mm. So, you know, I think there are great opportunities that we, we have outside. Problem is we're just not seizing those opportunities. And that's, that's the problem. What do you think? You're you're um, uh, the director of uh, Car Twenty Six, yeah, which is an organisation that is actually involved in climate change discussion. That's right. Yeah, okay. climate analysis reason. Yeah. Can I? Can, because it's my show. Um, and if you want to phone in about this, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Can't uh, say we're going to get time for any calls. But anybody's got a good point about climate change. Yeah, phone talk in. to me. Yeah. Now I'm. Everybody says I'm a climate change denier yeah and i want to make the, it absolutely yeah. clear i am not no because the climate has and always will change absolutely and sometimes it changes quicker sometimes it changes slower yeah and the people who demonstrate and complain about it all seem to be a bunch of hairy hippies who i uh, you know don't seem to want to do anything <laughs> paid for by um multinational well, well, not say anything yeah. that <laughs> might you not say be it's warming and not man-made what i'm saying is that people say the sun Obviously, it's not man-made. That's what I just it's said. It's cow-made and horse-made and And it's not farts that cows do, it's belches, actually, because people get that mixed up. Really? Yeah. Do you know what? Okay. It's good to know Let that. me finish this point. Sorry. OK. <laughs> Everybody says, but the science is proved. Yeah, it's not. The science is never proved. Any no? scientist <clears throat> that disagrees with it is cancelled or, yep. or poo-pooed or mocked. Look at David Bellamy. 
Absolutely. Silence. We were talking about David Well, he's a classic example. Suddenly yeah. he was a nobody. And then you've got St. David Attenborough, yeah. who, um, who, you know, who the toes flow. the line. But he's not an expert. Can you let, no, could not. you let the guest speak a bit? I know you've been doing <laughs> those funny things. I was just helping her. No. So Europe is obviously very, very pro the whole net zero stuff. So the fact that we've Brexited should actually mean that we can benefit from not having to go along with it. But, you know, we're not benefiting at all from no. Brexit at and the moment. And that's you, another one. Who do you blame for that? What? that we're not benefiting, we should be benefiting. Uh, the civil oh. service, yeah. I think that they've totally wedded to the whole concept of Europe and, you know, they're so just sitting there the waiting, waiting. The civil service, the government, Well, the civil MPs. service think that they run the government. Well, why, don't, why doesn't somebody, the civil service, I agree, but yeah. nobody's doing anything about but it. The, MPs are also the civil on their service side. love the green stuff as well, they absolutely love yeah. it and that'd be interesting to see. I know, have never met so many wet people in my life as we those have, we, people in the civil service. We have weak politicians, that's the problem, we do. James. We have weak yeah. politicians that aren't prepared to actually tell the civil service what to do. They're supposed to be in charge. The civil servants are servants. They're supposed to mm. listen to what the politicians tell them. Yeah. And then they get accused of bullying, you yeah. see. That's, that, that's the yeah. problem. I know, that's I, it. You throw I, that at them, can't yeah, they? Yeah. Shut them down. And I, uh, a lot of people will disagree with you because you're convinced that we're driving a car... Yeah, it's the worst thing. I'm not allowed to drive them. Anyway, so... And now um, MP driving, a go at civil service. Driving a car. We probably get a few complaints for what we say. But if you want balance, disagree with me. Phone the number. Uh, if you're listening on Talk Radio 0344-499-1000. Uh, if you're watching us on Talk Television, and if you didn't know we're on Talk Television, as some people do, scroll down through wherever you get your TV. I think we're the last news channel. But I think we should be news and entertainment. That actually That's speaks the truth. Yeah. And, and we, well, I... You know, I might be wrong. I was wrong about remaining. Well, yeah, but that's why I'm here, to correct you. <laughs> Fine, OK. But if you don't like the fact that I think that this whole net zero thing is just being installed so some people don't lose face, but some of the politicians, when you question them, actually talk complete and utter just it's, not, it's, it's not just about speaking the truth see what's great about what you do is you allow people to have an opinion if lois goes onto the bbc and starts being skeptical yeah. about net really. zero yeah. they basically turn her off they just <laughs> talk her off the station what my uh, producer just said in my ear until you cut them off I never cut someone, unless it's a, a fun call and they... You always cut Ken me. off. <laughs> I cut Ken off because he talks bollocks about religion, right? That's it. And we could get what on the What did he say? Oh, we're not going to use that. Oh, right, I mean, okay. He calls in every night. Just he's you don't listen to He's Antichrist and all that. You know, oh, right, I'm okay. the Antichrist. Which makes Are sense. you the makes Antichrist? A lot of sense. Do you know what? I've wanted to meet you for such a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to be careful. You say some things and people actually believe some of the things you're saying. But... Um, uh, you the can have your say. say that. You can <laughs> have your say by ringing, and we'll, we'll demonstrate. <laughs> talking about listen, talking about religion. I saw one of your tweets today. Yeah, and I, um, uh, I thought it was quite interesting because you said tomorrow there's going to be a massive demonstration, yeah. which is anti-Semitic in London. It is, yeah. And Lois, you might want to get in on this as well. Could you and you just save it for a bit because I know how you're going to go nuts. Could you just explain why you think this is? Well, we've seen other similar demonstrations in London. There's, it's the Al Quds uh, march tomorrow in London. Mm -hmm. it starts, I think, at the Home Office, and it's explain who Al Quds well, are. Al Quds actually means Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So you have this sort of march for uh, supposedly Jerusalem. Um, you know, it, it talks about sort of you know kicking the you know uh, the Jews out of uh, out of Israel, and they you know talks about them being uh, illegally settling the country. And, you know, in previous times when we've had these marches, it supports Hamas and Hezbollah, mm. terrorist organisations. We had a march, I think it was, I can't even remember, it's last year or the year before, when after the march you had a lot of these sort of cars driving down in Jewish areas, yeah. open top shouting cars shouting, yeah. I was murder actually your in mothers, London. rape I was, your yeah, daughters. Yeah, I was in London that and time. And it's, you know, it for horrible. Jewish people, you know, there, there are a couple of hundred thousand Jewish people living in mm. London. It's a really scary time. Just in the news this week, just in the news this week, you had that absolute, I mean, a real tragedy. You know, three British citizens, two daughters mm. uh, and a mother, murdered in cold blood. Their car was driven off the road. They were shot at point-blank range. Mm. Mm. There was not... I mean, there wasn't a huge amount of sympathy. No. The Foreign Office put out some reports saying, we're saddened by the deaths mm. of That's these three right. people. The problem... Yeah. Let me, they were murders. They were terrorists. They didn't condemn the terrorism. I, I they didn't absolutely the terrorism. It's agree. Outrageous. Mm. But, looking at it, and I don't often do this from yeah. the other side, um, and I, I've known 
fact, I know some some Palestinian people who are not terrorists. They're no, not. No. They're really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they are trapped in an area. Yes. Not allowed to 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 live the way they would like. And most of this is caused by the terrorists who are running the country yep. and keeping well, all them of it under yeah. and um, bombing indiscriminately. Yeah. Israel. Now, part of the problem yeah. that I'm told for all of this is the way that we, the British, actually um, uh, made this back, gave back the state of Israel. And we mm -hmm. did it, as you may remember, there was a lot of bloodshed at the time. Sure. I wasn't around at the time, but yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of bloodshed. Is there anything that we could do that would placate both sides and make the terrorists realise they can't win? Well, the problem is that, to some extent, we're actually funding terrorism from the UK and the EU. Yeah. They have a pay-for-slay uh, um, uh, policy in, in the Middle East. The Palestinian leadership actually pay terrorists. They pay them as martyrs. Martyr. And we are funding this. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that the longer we continue to fund this, the more it will continue. Yeah. The people, Palestinian people and Israeli people, want peace. They're people like but us. They want to live in peace. You know, yeah. It's the leadership or the lack that, of leadership. That That's was the, the other thing that Sorry, I didn't realise. Sorry, how, how are we paying paying for it? Well, we're, we're funding, we're funding them. Right. We okay, grant so tons grants. of money to the right. Palestinian okay. leadership just, and they pay these out, And we'll talk about yeah. those a little bit later. But the problem that I see, I know, I can think of a couple. One Israeli Jew yeah. and a Palestinian um, Muslim. Yeah. And they're married. Yeah. And they have a great life. Mm -hmm. They don't, you know, apparently I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm nothing. I don't have a religion. I don't like religion. It annoys me. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was obliterated when I was born at the end of my willy cut off. I mean, it's just appalling. You had no need but, to have that. It was okay. a baptism. <laughs> I have to make light of everything because otherwise you would just. It was really severe baptism. Yeah. Here, wasn't <laughs> it? Anyway, I don't understand how these organizations on both sides have yes. been able to cause so much trouble and are still going. And it seems like politicians, you know, in America, they all have to, to, to be Christians before they can be elected. And um, in, I don't know, uh, Iraq or Iran... It's big business. Be I mean, look at the IRA here. The big lead, the leaders made big money out of it. In Yasser Arafat finished, he was worth tens of millions. The Hamas leaders in, live in palaces. In, indeed. I mean, they live in... You know, their funding comes from Qatar. But they don't want it to... Yasser they live, Arafat's they live wife there. They don't have live in Qatar. Millions live in Qatar. and millions of dollars in her account in Paris. But, you know, there's so much corruption in the leadership. That's It's the leadership that's the problem. If it was left to the people, okay. you know, peace would break out right away. I want to talk now, um, and please get in touch. You have uh, the right. And put the number on the screen. Like, yeah, put the number on the screen. Who's doing? Who's doing the? Um, George, are you on the ball, George? George, remember, I'm now director of HR for this show. Um, <laughs> let's talk about. Let's talk in a minute, not now. He loves it. He says, "Call them in, embarrass them. You're always embarrassing me." Come and see us. <laughs> um, let's talk about junior doctors. As everybody knows, I have cancer. I'm spending quite a lot of time in and out of hospital. Uh, they have a really, really difficult time at the moment. I've got to have some radiotherapy and stuff like that. Um, and this is all, you know, I'm talking about the NHS. I'm saying, it's all right for you. I was all, no, I'm getting on the NHS. Yeah. You know, they've got, they've got some of the, the best doctors, clinicians going. Absolutely. And they're fighting, some might say a losing battle against the management who make so many ridiculously mm. stupid decisions. I mean, every hospital you go in and you've got, you, what language do you want to speak? Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't get yeah, that, that in France. That must cost a fortune, or, yeah. all of and that. Diversity yeah. is king and all of that. And the other day I went in to have uh, some x-rays and scans done. And uh, as a joke, because uh, I'm in quite regularly... They didn't ask you if you were pregnant. That's what I oh was... My God. Why didn't you just say yes to see what they do? <laughs> no, no. Before they could, and it's a really nice lady, and I said, look... <laughs> Can we dispatch? I'm not pregnant. Why didn't you say I okay. don't know? Can I have a do a test and see no. what it <laughs> no, was? No, no, she, God, she wouldn't thinks... you be surprised if it came back positive? I'd be yeah. bloody surprised, yeah. No. Uh, she, um... no, I wore protection. <laughs> Chuck, you may have to get rid of him. I mean, seriously get rid of him. Um, but that's quite interesting. We had a laugh about it. And yeah. she said, I actually have to ask you, because she was a lady and doing a... Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what was it. She said, do you need a chaperone? 
But there's, I, there's, there's, <laughs> there is so much tick boxing in everything nowadays. Mm. And, you know, you tick a box, but no one actually does anything once that box has been ticked. There have been numerous That's occasions. The job done, and it, forget, put, put the NHS to one side. There have been many occasions where if I ever go to a spa or something, go for a massage, and you Ooh. have to fill in this health form beforehand and it asks if you have any ailments or whatever. And there's always a box to tick if but you're pregnant. But that covers them so they don't actually have to do well, their exactly. real job. But I, w I always tick the box that I'm pregnant. Not once, not once has anyone <laughs> ever come back to me and sort of said, you know, it's ridiculous. Or they, you know, it's just another box to, to take. I mean, yep. to be fair to, to the guy, so I'll go in for a scan, and everybody yep. who's had that, I'm not just talking, but it's quite interesting. So if you've got diabetes, we've got this, we've got that. Have you got any kidney problems? Yeah, I said, I've only got one and cancer in the other one. Oh, right. Tick the box, and yeah. on they go. And it's quite, it's quite bizarre, really, because somebody could just say yes to it all and you sign it. Mm -hmm. But nobody's checking it, so no. they're worried about. It's and I can get sued and go, "Are oh, you lied on this yeah. one thing?" And it, exactly, exactly. it's yeah. just a record, so that if but anything did come up afterwards, they, they could check that. But then exactly. the other day, someone was giving blood or wanted to give blood, and he refused to answer whether he was pregnant or not. And they said, "You can't give blood." Somebody he was took a GP. it deadly serious. He's a GP. Oh, the GP, right? But they Scotland. rely on these box mm -hmm. ticking, and they forget about doing the job. That is the most silly thing I ever saw. I did tweet some rather rude stuff about that. Uh, the, the GP in Scotland turned up to give blood, as he does, right. and uh, uh, the, the, whoever was doing it said, now, are you pregnant? <laughs> and he said, I beg your pardon? She said, are you pregnant? <laughs> and he said, don't be ridiculous. Yeah. She and said, they ask 100-year-old women if they're pregnant. I saw they? a documentary <laughs> once with Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> and he was... I'm not asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold my tummy in. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. A I Winnie mean, the Pooh tummy. <laughs> a Winnie the Pooh tummy. That is really quite funny. Yeah. Your your black do you I've been told this has got nothing. I've been told Yes. That actually women like a man with a little bit of a tummy. Yeah, they do, yeah. Ash, why haven't you got a little bit of a friend? A uh, what do they call it? It Love, makes me feel um, thinner. Cuddle dough. Cuddle dough. Cuddle dough. <laughs> you just came up with that. Cuddle, Cuddle dough. dough. <laughs> Well, I, I blame it now. I've, I'm on the steroids at the moment. Lashes which really make like. you feel quite good. But you get real double <laughs> chins here apps. and your stomach. And what? Do you want to... You, you, what is wrong with you, Chucky? Are you OK? <laughs> Ch Chucky? No, Chucky, we're not doing that at the moment, but we will he's in a minute. He's obsessed with diabetes. He's, well, no, he's, he's worried about himself, but... Isn't Apparently five million people in the country have diabetes. I'm pre-diabetic. Yeah. It means I'm ready. I haven't got it. Diabetic. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You're transitioning yeah. to yeah, diabetes. Yeah. Oh, dear, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let's talk about that before we finish this segment. James Well breaks the news, as we used to do on uh, Talk TV a couple of years ago. Uh, this whole thing about the trans arguments mm. has just gone completely over the bloody top. Yeah. There is no, you know... It's a, a 0.6% of a... It's been yeah, weaponised. Yeah. It's been yeah. weaponised to cause division. I mean, I've never, ever, ever considered myself a feminist before. Are there, you a woman? Now, let's I am get a that. woman, but if there and, is a patriarchy, it served me extremely well from the age of about 13 years yeah. old, so I don't care about any, any of that. Having said that... You know, the whole thing with the women not even having their own toilets and stuff like that, yeah. that's completely different. So, yeah, yes. I'm now Lance on the other Lance doesn't know what to say. It's quite interesting. Yeah, well, I'm worried but... about flying transatlantic now. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's the whole trans discussion that seems to have just taken over everything now. It's yeah. just you keep... And we're not talking about, you know, Douglas just... Murray makes the point, but the whole world, we've got all this great equipment and information, and we're just discussing whether a man can be a woman and exactly. wasting well, all our thoughts. Keir Starmer hasn't got a clue. I mean, he, he certainly doesn't think about... Well, yeah, Keir Starmer's he a committed all... atheist as well, so he'll be the first Prime Minister, if he becomes Prime Minister, to like, actually say he's an atheist. I like the way companies will go, woke, well, go, yeah. broke, that's happening now, yeah. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's good. Light. Yeah, have been Bud Light well. have lost six billion share, pounds right? yeah. in having this uh, guy pretending he's a trans activist. Mulvaney. I've forgotten his. Yeah, I don't. I, was I don't think he's man. real. I don't think he's actually trans. I Dylan think Mulvaney. Yeah. 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 But he, you know, he's an idiot. But yes. they're more of an idiot for actually paying him a fortune. He's done all right. And he's pretending. They're the idiots. You hang on. You do it. If somebody you. offered money. Of course, that's what you I'm saying. It. I'm saying <laughs> he's right. They're the idiots. Have him. I wouldn't go that far. You'd well, Nike, ball, Nike you... had the sports. I'd do that. <laughs> you could do that as well. You... I'd pay good money to I've see got, that. I've got quite Ash. good yeah. man boobs now. Yeah. Well, this, you know, exactly. you get a bit older. Than, you you know, why don't they do now. man sports bras? Sexist, isn't it? 
It is. It can chafe. Can well, you wear a nylon top? Man's <laughs> bras. <laughs> maybe we should do man's bras. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe think, not. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know. It's a ridiculous world in which we live, isn't it? It is yeah. completely yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, we just need to get back to basics. And uh, God, uh, the last person that said that John was John Major. Major. <laughs> I mean, I mean, no, but we do need. To, I mean, that's what you know. Today we happen to be um, both promoting Car Twenty Six. Yeah. The, uh, the the Reform Party had a yeah. rally, and we were there to promoting sort of the, the the net zero stuff, and. You know, people want to talk. You know, everyone's talking about the madness of the trans stuff, yeah. the madness of net zero. The ma people want to get. You know, <laughs> people have got real problems, real Why? just cost of living problems. They've got yeah. real basic problems, and this is what we need to deal with. Not all this nonsense. Right, let's come woke, back to that in a moment. Woke stuff. If you want to join us, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Take a break. All right, welcome back uh, to the James Whale Show on uh, Talk Ash. TV at this moment. Uh, and talk radio with me are Lois. I've uh, got it right. Lois Lane from Lois, Superman. Lois Perry <laughs> and, um, and Lance, uh, Lance Foreman, <laughs> king of the smoked salmon, uh, who didn't come in. Right. I want to talk about um, what it's like to be a broadcaster, okay. because you you know you're both uh, guests regularly, and if, if you need a, a consultant, I'm reasonable, by the way, Lance. Well, <laughs> not that I'm saying you need any help, but your representation is easy, James. I just want to I want to demonstrate to mm. you how not to do an interview. Okay. Okay. Right. Have a look at this and then I'll tell you why I wanted to play it. Okay. Ooh. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't use... I, I, honestly, I you don't... You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why, because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore, because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you actually, said you... A lot, of people, a lot of people are quite similar. I, 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 only, well, well, I only look well, at my Well, hang on a my second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks and I... Well, I, then how did you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been, I've been using, I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you, for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And you I, can't I, give a single I, one. And, and, and I'm saying, I, I, then I, I say, sir, that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I could. Amateurs. Uh, yeah, downright amateurs. In fact, the, the, the BBC cut that bit out. So when they ran the interview with Elon Musk, that bit was cut out. That is the BBC who, of course, are not in any way, mm. shape or form, prejudiced about anything. Mm. Yeah. Bunch of left If you fail to prepare, <laughs> then prepare to fail. Yeah, and I don't know, how does somebody like no, that... Nice. Obviously, you're going to go and talk to Elon Musk and you're going to ask him a question like, uh, so hate speech, blah, 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 blah. Well, you, you need to you you need to a, have an example. Yeah. <laughs> but also, if if I interview you and you try and change it round to interview yeah. me, as many yeah. people have in the past, then I will just take delight in. And also, it's not <laughs> worse. It was always horrendous hate speech on there, and I think it's actually is a bit better. But what is hate speech? Yeah, one person's hate you know, speech. You know, you get it all the time. Speech. All your trolls. I don't think. I don't think they really. I love it. If you, no, no, he why is the hate speech? Friendship. Yeah, one of one some of people the, thrive hate, on it. People I quite think that's like hate it. speech. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, so let me give you an example. Yeah. One of the things I get quite often because, um, you know, you get called the, a gammon. The, <laughs> the ratings are quite good on this show, believe it or not. I, yeah. And so uh, I often wonder why bother if it annoys you so much. And and my wife realises now it's all part of whatever mm. but uh, some couple, one of the things they say something along the lines, I don't think you've got cancer, it's taking yeah. a heck of a long time to get rid of you oh, or whatever so no, 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 it's is... fine, they're yeah, watching but... I'm hitting the spot somewhere yeah. Yeah. and that yeah. makes me really the sweet spot uh, yeah. yeah, but some yeah. people don't like it well, no. I, don't, I don't mind it, but some people... I don't mind yeah, people having don't, a go at what I say. I don't like them having a go at how I look. Yeah, don't, <laughs> I don't like that. Don't, don't, <laughs> yeah. If you don't yeah. like it, then stay so, out of the media. Well, that's true. Don't, don't watch, watch it. it. Yeah, don't yeah. watch and that's it. why I always say, listen, this programme isn't for any everybody. No. But that whole bit in the BBC where they cut out the bit that makes him look like... They're embarrassed. They've put it back on the BBC now because they were have embarrassed. Because Elon Musk oh. put it on his Twitter, so now the BBC... Yes. Yeah, yeah, but but I, he seems like a good yeah. bloke, doesn't so, he, Musk? It, I, I will not do interviews with the BBC now unless it's live. Unless it's live, The yeah. number of yeah. times 
You know, the, and it's, oh. if they want to do an interview with you, they call you beforehand and say, what are you going to be talking about? So they know exactly what it is. And then if you do a pre-record, they edit out all the They're good They're the bits. most underhand yeah. organ. I mean, look at what the it's Princess focused. Diana interview. That tells you everything, the underhand organisation. Yeah. And the BBC had the audacity to compare the free speech laws in America mm. to actually, like, um, Nazi Germany and stuff like that. They actually put out a statement saying, you know that they've lost the argument. When and they now they want to put up that. the licence fee. No, now, my, yeah. my thoughts are this. Now, I'm, I'm a, a great advocate of local radio. Yeah. And there is no local newspaper anymore. No. I happen to know that the BBC are going to more or less get rid of local. They're going to they're gonna network, yeah. you know, three or four of the programmes around everywhere. They just made a guy redundant and he died the next day. Of no, he attack. didn't. He had a heart attack. Well, I don't think he died. Yeah. Um, but the way... And I, a friend of mine is waiting to be told whether or not they have a job. Yeah. Uh, but they won't tell the person whether they have a job until after they've done the show on Monday. And, and the oh. person happens, happens to be pretty good, you know... Um, I'm not going to say anymore. And they discriminate yeah, but, yeah. on the ground on racial grounds. But you know the problem. The problem is that they they're not sure what they're doing. So how do these people become bosses? If you wanted to do something with our money, mm -hmm. well, I'm not going to have a license fee anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to watch illegally, but I'm stuff that. Mm. I'm I'm just not. It's a waste of money. I'd rather give that money to the NHS as soon as they That's change good. the management. And they can blow it on, just waste it. Yeah, yeah but I the can do some TikTok videos yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Can you do you know about TikTok? No, no, no I don't. No, I, I'm not really yeah. into all of yeah. that kind of stuff. But the the thing about this is that the BBC have they should have a news channel. Mm -hmm. They should have maybe some educational stuff, yeah. and they should do local radio, which should yes. just be talk. People talking in, talking to local councillors, doing local news, because in the commercial sector, yeah. you can't afford to do that. Yeah. They need to do the Bang stuff on. that nobody Absolutely wants. Absolutely right. That is a good use of the licence fee if we have yeah. to pay one. I totally agree with mm. you on yeah. that, actually. And we wouldn't, if that's all they had, that would easily be swallowed up in other taxes. Mm. Mm. That's true. So. Look, I don't think people mind news being biased, and clearly the BBC is, you know, it's its own really echo like chamber. The BBC, no, the, yeah. the people, you know, there's no problem with news being biased. There is but on it the BBC. But it Not shouldn't sure. be, but it should be commercial. Yeah. 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 It shouldn't be tax or yeah. licence fee payer funded. If you want to yeah. be biased, then fine, say what you're going like to, you know. newspapers. You're... Absolutely. Yeah. Newspapers can you have a, a right or a left-wing bias, yeah. quite yeah. right too, yeah. and then you've got something to argue against exactly yeah. and as long as people are able and i don't buzz everybody off i only buzz them off for well you'll see if you watch the show regularly but um that's the bit people quite like that's the people that know me for because when i started out and i thought how could you be different you have to think everybody in the media and still to a great success look at this um want to be loved want to be so sweet and so lovely and so amazing but not everybody is going to be successful at doing that. And we need no. a little bit of real life, like we were in the pub and we had a disagreement. We need to bring that into the media. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it's it's good to show alternate views. Yeah. Um, but to, just to, to sort of try and uh, give the impression that you're unbiased and this is fact mm. is nonsense. That's there why is... they've like, enjoyed leaving a lot of their big stars, <laughs> like Mate List and what's mm. his name, because now mm. they can have views on Yeah. Them. yeah. And prove that we were right in the first place. Yeah, they're very left wing. Even yeah. more woke exactly. than they were when they were exactly. at the BBC. Absolutely. Yeah. At least you know uh, where they're coming from. Yeah. You know, we knew anyway. Didn't but we? You know, in to. America, you know what the TV or radio station's bias Absolutely. is. Absolutely. And that's the way it should be. It's only because of uh, old Harold Wilson, who uh, imposed so many, so many rules and regulations on commercial broadcasting, mm. um, that we now have all this uh, rubbish held over our heads. Hold it over the heads of the BBC. Yeah. Mm. Um, because there should be something that isn't funded by commercial enterprise. But they have no business in doing things like Strictly, EastEnders, quiz shows. Any of that stuff that's commercial and successful should be taken... The BBC have a commercial arm. Yeah. They do. And but they've shot themselves in the foot with the things like Top Gear and Doctor mm. Who that were so successful in terms of the products and merchandise. Yeah. And then they went totally woke and destroyed it in yeah. one foul swoop, Killed didn't the they? Goose. They had a girl Doctor Who. I mean, who, who wants a girl Doctor Who? Mm. Not that my would be, son. That would be nurse, nurse Who. Let's, um, no, let's, I'm joking. Hang on. Let's, <laughs> I'm let's, joking. let's finish. Hang on. Let's finish this uh, segment off with. Uh, I don't think we've got any sound on this, but watch the most ridiculously not. stupid thing ever. And a man who I actually think should be pitied rather than how I've had a go. But we're rolling this now. And this is a okay. gentleman singer 
called Sam Smith. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. And, um, I've got that outfit. And um, uh, he wants to be known as a them. This is Little Britain. Uh, no, that's Sam Smith. Oh, yeah. Uh, and if you're listening on the radio, let me tell you, Sam Smith was showing a bit of him on screen you may have seen. On, on social media. He looks like giant haystacks. He looks like the only gay in the village. He's wearing a thong. <laughs> All my thong wearing. And yeah. he's got nipple tassels. <laughs> mm. And he's doing some rather... And stockings. Just keep Nothing talking. Nothing wrong with stockings, but not like on that, him. James. And I, I just find that. Is that how... And I, I just find that. Is that how the pregnancy happened? <laughs> how, you know, how on earth can you think I think he's got a pro I think he needs some counselling. He's doing well out of it. He's making, it. I think it's a bit of a PR thing. He's I doing really well do. out of it. He's making money from this. Yeah. Why don't you do something like that? I mean, Why don't you, you do that show now? Up? Imagine if I'm listening to you again. If you got on the desk now in a thong and started writhing. Hang on a minute. Has he got my fishnets on? He has. Have you got fishnets on? So you on? could borrow those right yeah. now. Mm. Yeah, young people but he see borrowed that. them. Mm. One, of the, one of the big reasons why so many people are upset is because he's performing to very young yes, people. Yes, that's true. Yes, There's no absolutely. age limit, is there? And they yeah. say it's a satanic dance. Now, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> You're the Antichrist, so you, can you let yeah. us know a bit about that? We used to have Lex and Co in our day when we were kids. Yeah. But they were actually very attractive. Yeah. Is oh, but well, the dance is on yeah. top of the pole. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and we, have the, we have the Chippendales. Well, that was, we? And the, the um, Chippendales. Yeah. They're blokes, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, okay. James and Dream, Dream, Boys. Dream Boys on my show in the nineties. So, yeah, because everybody said, "Oh, well, really that like James, that, that James Whale show is just sexist as as attractive that women on." And uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we did, but we had more nakedness from men than women. Really? Mm -hmm. We yeah. insisted on it. Insisted on yeah. It. Yeah. Just okay. to balance. Even you know. when they didn't want to. Yeah. 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 You were ahead of, you're ahead of your time. I know. Mm. Yeah, so I know. you read the small print and then oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was funny. And, you know, if you're offended, I'm offended by that because that is not attractive. And no. it's um, if, it, if kids are watching, I think that's mm. the long and the short of it. If it's 18 and over, so what? You know, but if mm. it's children. I'm also, you know, Liam, um, what's his name? Who's the. Gallagher. Uh, no. <laughs> no the, who does the. Sorry, no, the, no, the guy the who howled it from the prodigy. No, <laughs> um, no, they're shouting all these Liams at me. No, Liam Hemsworth. Who's he? Who's he? I don't Fox know. went to oh, school right. with no, Chuck. Yeah, no, He's the Fox. guy. Liam will Smith. you shut up, Chuck, or no. you'll be in here in no. trouble in a minute? Um, he's the guy who does the the Boy George impersonations, who I like. Oh, I love Hailwood, Boy George. Liam Hailwood. Right, okay. yeah. Now, he's just appeared on a programme called Naked Education. Oh, God, I heard about that. That's and awful. And he's made a huge, huge mistake. Right, yeah. what did he do? They're taking their clothes off in front of children yeah. and then filming the reactions of the children. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And he said he did it for his own good and get him. I don't really... Liberation. liberation. It, it's not, not supposed liberation. to be for him, and it's not no. liberation. Now, if Liam is listening, because he listens a lot, I do love you. I think you're a nice guy. I think you sadly missed M the point there. And I think there's something you shouldn't sort of say, oh, I was quite glad I did. It, 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 that whole idea is wrong. Now, Naked Attraction, which is another programme, which channel, is Channel 4 have? Yeah, I watched um, that. It's really weird, isn't it? Everything's naked on if, Channel 4. If I, yeah. if I had seen that as a teenager, yeah. I don't think I'd ever have had sex. No. Have you? I mean, yeah, many times <laughs> this has been well documented. <laughs> uh, but I... Because well, of the shock. Well, I quite like I the have... Naked Chef. I thought that was... <laughs> Like, the there was no nudity in the Because that would be unhygienic as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's true. Well, it depends clothes. what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to wear two hair nets. <laughs> naked <laughs> naked Alone and I Want to Get Home. <laughs> a new Channel 4 show, Naked Alone and I Want to Get Home, which is a rip-off of a, an American show, by the way. Which naked is already and going Afraid. Or yeah, Naked America. and Afraid. Oh, you do watch them. No, no, no. I'm sad about it somewhere. But... To be to be serious for a moment, um, yeah. I've realised genitalia are not particularly, you know, not particularly attractive on men or women. If you have to sit there well, no. and look at them, no, no one wants a picture of someone's no. penis sent to them. No. no. Well, don't you be sexist. Uh, well, well, it, you know, there are, <laughs> well, don't rush to. <laughs> Yeah. We weren't going to talk uh, about that. Yeah. Women do take yeah, pictures yeah. of their bits, I'm well, led to believe. Well, they're more attractive to look at than the other way around. I've been told. That's <laughs> yeah. how I know. <laughs> you told me a lot.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my sex education came from you, yeah, didn't man. it? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. No, well, um, but I, I just think we, we, you've got a huge. You're really going to confuse people huge. showing. Yeah. No. I can't. Yeah. I'm trying to be delicate <laughs> talking I was about. I say this. you got a huge. And yeah, no, down, no, yeah. I am trying <laughs> to be <laughs> delicate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has to, yeah. Anyway, I just think this isn't the right way to do it, no, and I think. Isn't. Sex education, which not... Did you ever get any sex education? You don't need it. I mean, and why do people need to discuss stuff like a bloke hanging up in a thong in front of kids? You don't need to have a discussion. Obviously, it's wrong. You don't need it to is wrong, it. yeah. It's, wrong. it's like drag. Cucumbers. I absolutely love drag artists, but not for mm. under 18s. If I go out in the evening to drag shows and stuff mm. like that, I absolutely love it. But well, why 18s? Yeah. So. I mean, I, I'd left school at 16, yeah. and I, yeah, I well, think I was okay. a father at 18. You can really? get married, can't wow. you, at 16, yeah. Mm. I went to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, actually, um, when I was 14. I shouldn't I really have gone to that, I and I was dressed 15. up as magenta. I didn't like it, I thought it was stupid. <laughs> Guys, I'm told we've run right out of time, okay. and I have to say goodbye to you, but come in again and uh, break the news again. Now, Lance, are you OK? You look, you've, you've been a little worried. I know you get worried about I do get worried. Yeah. Uh, so next time, the smoked salmon has to have at least a couple of weeks before I'll bring the you end a of bagel. the salmon. Yeah. Uh, and a bagel. <laughs> I'll I've got some bagels and cream cheese. Excellent. I've just I'll bring the salmon. Run out of the salmon, salmon. yeah. Lemon and Perfect. black pepper. Yeah. And, uh, and and keep going with trying to Can educate everybody juice, about you do, climate I'll take change. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, thank Thanks you very for much. having us. I'm thank being you. counted out to the last four seconds of this. <laughs> if you want to join us, you can see the number. Give us a ring. This is Talk TV.